In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new AgriFab 25-gallon tow sprayer. To begin, place the sprayer assembly, part 4, upside down on a protective surface. Then align the hitch triangle, part 6, and fully secure it with 4 5 16 by 3 quarter inch flange bolts, part A, and 4 5 16 inch Wizlock nuts, part C. Next, insert the axle, part 3. Now slide on two spacers, part L, followed by a washer, part E. Then slide on a wheel, part 5, with the valve stem facing out. Next, slide on a washer, part E, and secure it with a 1 1 quarter inch cotter pin, part M. Now repeat for the other side. Next, turn the sprayer onto its wheels. Then align the hitch bracket, part 7 and fully secure it with two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch flange bolts, part A, and two 5 16 inch Wizlock nuts, part C. Then insert the hitch pin, part D, and secure it with the bow tie clip, part G. Then thread a 3 8 inch Wizlock nut, part B, onto one side of each boom support, part 2. Next, loosely secure each of them to the sprayer assembly with a 3 8 inch Wizlock nut, part B. Now, thread a 3 8 inch Wizlock nut, part B, onto each boom support, as seen. Then align the center boom, part 1. Then secure with a 5 16 by 3 quarter inch screw, part O, and a 3 8 inch Wizlock nut, part B, onto each boom extension, part 9. Now align them with the boom assembly and loosely secure them with a the locking knob, part N. Adjust the boom so the height of the spray tip is approximately 15 inches from the ground. Then align the boom assembly and fully secure it. Now align the boom hose assembly and secure it with three nozzle retaining nuts, part J. Next, insert a spray tip, part K, into a cap nut, part H, followed by a spray tip screen, part I. Repeat to create a total of three spray tip assemblies. Now, secure them to the spray boom. Then press the boom hose onto the supply line. Fold the arms forward for transport and storage. Adjust the boom arms for maximum width when spraying. Caution! Do not connect the sprayer to anything other than a 12-volt battery. Now connect the black ring terminal from the battery wire harness part Q to your power source's negative terminal. Then connect the red terminal to your power source's positive terminal. Now connect the switch wire harness part P to the battery harness and route it to the sprayer. Then connect the switch harness to the pump. Now ensure the intake tube is near the bottom of the tank.